So guys, this video is about how to push your code from your local system or a machine or a computer to the remote repository. That means the GitHub account. So in a previous lectures, I have told you how you can clone a repository from the GitHub and clone it to your local system and then make changes to that repository, right? But what if you have already made a program or a software in your local machine? That's 90% uh, of the time we just start our project from our local system, right? That's our PC. We just create the new files and a new program we run on the, uh, on our machine. But then later we realize that we have to push that project to our GitHub account. And how we're going to do that, we will see from now on. This is the first video. So in this video, we'll see how we're going to just initialize the GitHub repository on our local system so that we can push our code to the remote repository on the GitHub. So for that thing, we need to use this init command. So what is the init command? Init as the word says itself that it is used to initialize the Git repository. So it is used to create a new Git repository, right? So what does the init command do? Init command does the, it is used to create a new Git repository, right? So we're gonna see how we're gonna use all these things uh, let's move on to our VS code. So here I am on my VS code and I have opened the git tutorial folder. And in this folder, I just clone a repository named as demo repo. So I have uh, previously made all the videos on how to clone a repository on our system and uh, how we gonna make changes and push all the changes on our GitHub. So if you haven't watched that those videos, so you can watch them first and then come out here. So from now on, uh, uh, let's assume I have an already made some software or a program on my local machine and now I have to push that on the GitHub account. So how I'm going to do this? Firstly, I have to put a new folder, initialize new folder here. This is the Git tutorial folder. And I'm just going to make a new folder here that going to name, I, I, I going to name is the new repository folder so i'm this new repository folder and now on my vs code you can see this is the new repository folder so from the terminal i have to work on the new repository fo uh, folder so on from the new terminal i have to move on to that folder so how are we gonna move on that folder i use the cd command cd new repository and i just write the new and i press the tab button and here you can see that it's automatically uh, completed. And when I press the enter, then you can see now this is the new repository folder. And now I will be working on the new repository folder. Now what I have to do here, I have to make some changes. I'm creating a new file, uh, maybe index.html. And in this index.html, I'm gonna use this paragraph this is html file so i have made this this is the html file and i have created some sort of the you know python file new python.py i've created another python file here i am just writing a simple python program a5 and b6 and uh, print a plus b so that's how i have just created these two files and now what i'm going to do here i have to just search for the hidden files so here uh, when i just enter the ls minus hidden so there are no hidden files out here in this folder right i have told you there are some visible files and a hidden files so visible files are here you can see index.html and new python.py but in your folder there are some hidden files like the git, git attribute file is a file that is usually in the folder of uh, git repositories when you clone a new repository or you just initialize a new repository so for that i have to use 
Now, I have to make this folder a new git repository, right? So for that, I have to use this command that I've used here, git init. I have to use this command, git init. So I'm gonna write here, git init. And when I press the enter, then it says that initialized empty git repository in this path. This is the dot git, right? So after this, when I just press the git, sorry, ls minus hidden. Now when I press the enter, then it says that there is a dot git file. This is a hidden file present in this repository, right? I'm going to clear this clear now. Now, what, what are you just experiencing here? I just close other files here. And now what are you experiencing this? You can see here on the index.html and new.py, new python.py, it says that these two are the untracked file. It's a U sign that represents the untracked file. So if I show you the git status, then you can see that these two are the untracked file. These two new files are the untracked file. So in order to track them, first we have to add these files, git add and dot. And now these two files are added. You can see their representation changed to A. Now A means added, right? So these two files are now added and they are now ready to be committed. So how are we gonna commit this? Git commit minus M. And I would write a message, uh, create new files I was, and I press the enter and now you can see these two files are being committed right I press the clear and I just write here git status and now it says on the main branch on branch main nothing to be committed working tree is clean so I hope you understand how I just created the, these two files and I have just made the uh, this repository a git repository and how I gonna make this git repository I have initialized with this git init command right so this is how you can make this uh, repository a git repository and I, I've made some new changes to this repository and now it is committed now the next thing that we have to do is to upload this folder this new folder on our github account so i have told you how you can just create these two files and make changes and just commit those changes but finally we have to upload this folder to our github account so first what you need to do you have to log into your github account on github.com and uh, from the right top corner you have to click on your profile and you have to go to your your repositories and now you're in a, your repositories and from here you can click on this new button and you have to create a new repository named as maybe you can see new repository now this is a new repository right and i just set it to public and i'm not initializing readme file why the reason why because if i initialize this with a readme file then I have to clone it to my local system. So it will become a little mess. It will create a readme file on uh, already on my local system and then I will push it to the GitHub account. So I will not initialize here with a readme file. I just click on the create a new repository. And now here my repository has been created. Now what I have to do, I have to just uh, click on this HTTPS this is the HTTPS link. So you have to click on this link and you have to copy this HTTPS link from here. You have to come to your VS code. And now what you have to do, you have to first, when whenever you want to push your code to the GitHub, the first thing you need to do, you have to run this command. This is the git remote add origin. So I have to write git remote add origin and I will just and copies this repository and I want to just enter this 
and now it has been pushed now what what's next now what's next to verify in order to verify the remote repository i have to use the git remote minus v to verify the remote repository so git remote minus v and i'm going to enter this and now you can see this link git repository student code xab so this is the repository that we are working on and this is the origin that is the origin that's why i'm saying the add origin this is the origin of the repository right now the next thing is that to check the branch now what is the branch i will explain you in the later videos in detail about what is the branch but right now you have to check this branch um, git branch and you can see this is the main branch now this is the main branch i hope you all got the main branch uh, whenever you just run these kind of commands because uh, in the previous years uh, in the previous times whenever you just run this git branch then its uh, name was the master branch but now the github the github has set the new branch uh, name that is the main branch if you can see here uh, in in some of the if i just tell you this is the demo repository from this demo repository you can see this is the main branch right so this is the default name by the github and it is usually used by the github in all the times so i'm here on the new repository so that's why this is this branch name is the main branch i will explain you what and uh, how this branch works in detail but for right now i've just checked this is the main branch and the last thing that we have to do is to git push origin main now i am not using this git branch main because in the previous times there was a name called master so the branch name was master in the previous time so if you ever got a branch name that is the master or any kind of branch name or if you want to change the branch name then you can use this git branch minus capital m and main so rename the branch right so the last thing to just push this code to my github account for that i was going to use git push origin main this is the same command that i have used previously to um, to push my code to my github account in my previous video i have written git push origin main and i'm going to press the enter and now it says yes your github repository is uploaded on your github account and now we'll going to check this on my github account this is the repository that i have created i'm going to refresh this and now you can see our repository has been created these are the two files if i click open this files this is you can see this is the html file if i open this python file you can see this is the main, same python code that i have written here right so these are the two main files here so these are the two files if i just create a readme file from my system again i just clear out this all these things if i create a new file here readme.md here readme.md and if i write here like this is readme file of new repository is the readme file of new repository here hashtag and now this is correct you have to use the hashtag and now you can see this is the undirect file so i have to make some changes first i have to add this git add full stop now this is the added and now i have to just commit commit uh, minus m and add readme file now this is committed now this file is committed now we have to just push this file git push origin main and now you can see this is uploaded and if i just refresh this here and now you can see this is the readme.md file index.html new python.py and this is the readme file of the new repository right 
so i hope you understand this lecture how you can initialize uh, your project on your local system and push that project to your github account well it is preferable to create the new repository from the github account and clone that repository it is more easy to do that but if you have already created uh, for some uh, some project that you have created in your uh, previous experiences so if you have any previous projects on your local system and, and if you want to upload those projects to your github account this is the easiest way to do that right so i hope you understand this thing and this lecture and thank you so much